What's up? Welcome back. Another video. I decided to sit in the back of my car because I wanted to get more middle view. Okay. So today I was going to speak on taking up your cross because I was just reading Mark right now. And the on chapter 8 it ended with take up your cross and it's it's hard it's hard what it's just like once you start picking up your cross and you start following god it, life gets harder it doesn't get easier once you start take taking the right path life gets harder most people think, oh, following Jesus is going to be easy and I'm going to get everything right away. It's going to be hard. You are going to get blessed. But the the journey to the blessing is hard. It's going to it's difficult because because you're, you're so used to all these worldly things and you're so comfortable with them. And, and it, it like makes you feel good, like. Like all these watching these bad sights and everything gives you like short term joy. It's it, and then, but after you do it, it's like dang, like it makes you you feel bad about it. But and then you kind of forget about it and you kind of just want to do it again. You want to go watch that corn and you're like, oh, this this makes me feel good, so I'm not gonna let go of it. But you have to deny yourself. You have to deny yourself and. In this world, it's so hard because it's just full of bad things. Like, secular music, it's so hard. Like, sometimes it's super hard to let go of that. And But for me, I realized that once I, I gave my life to Christ, it's like I don't really feel like i need that, all that secular music there's so there's so much other christian rap music and you get used to it and you start liking it or worship music it 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 just changes your mind because you know you're doing the right thing and it makes you feel that makes you feel good but it's just that everyone who hasn't given their life to christ yet thinks it's going to be so hard to give up everything but once you do it just comes naturally it comes naturally you have to deny yourself in, in this world in this world full of sin all the all you think about is bad things what i didn't want to give up was um having sex which is so which just sounds super bad but like i just thought i wasn't gonna be able to let go of that lust and but as time goes on and now as I'm getting more into the word and I'm getting closer to God, I just don't feel that need to be doing those bad things. Like I actually want to wait till marriage. I actually stay away from corn and stay away from those bad sights and I don't masturbate or anything. I'm, I'm actually like I feel more pure feels good and also i'll read the verse this is this is mark 8 through mark 8 30 34 through 38 okay it's take up your cross calling the crowd along with his disciples he said to them if anyone wants to follow me if, wants to follow after me let him deny himself Take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life because of the gospel will save it. For what does it benefit someone to gain the whole world and yet lose his life? What can anyone give in exchange for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulter adulterous and sinful generation... The son of man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his father and the holy angels. So it's like, what's the point of chasing all 
all this money and chasing all this fun, all this partying, that that party lifestyle and just trying to chase after money and keep, you know, like keep trying to make more. There's there's no like at the end of the day, you're going to die and you are chasing after these worldly things and you're not going to have a spot with your heavenly father up in heaven. It's not going to matter. Like all of these worldly things are just going to not going to matter, you know. The only thing that's going to matter once you pass away is did you serve the Lord? And you're going to you're going to see, see your heavenly father and he's he's not going to let you in cuz you weren't serving him, you know. You got to let go of those worldly things. And it says not to be ashamed of him. Because when you're ashamed of him in this world in this world God's going to be ashamed of you when when you're in his when you're in his area when you're in his uh kingdom he's going to be ashamed of you why why would he let you in bro like you were ashamed of him in the world why is he going to let you in when when you're in his kingdom this is all his but the 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 final goal is to get to his kingdom and and just live in peace for your eternal eternal life you know so just don't try not to be ashamed or like just don't be ashamed of of uh lord of lord jesus words and yeah uh you gotta pick up your cross and it's gonna be a hard path bro because it's it's hard for me too because i'm so i'm so lonely right now this i've been following i've been given i've given my life to christ like for a month now and it's been a lonely road it's been lonely bro but i'm i'm working through it and i know the blessings are coming i know it's gonna pay off but i'm i'm working through it and that's how you gotta be you gotta know that it's all gonna be worth it in the end all you did for god it's gonna be worth it in the end keep that in your head it's gonna be worth it don't let go of him stay strong even in in the in the hard times that's when you should be strongest with your faith. And in the good times, don't forget about him. Don't forget about him. He's the one that blessed you. So don't forget about him. But also watch out if if those good times are bad things. Because the devil could bless you too. The devil could bless you too. And that, that's just going to lead you away from God. You got to watch what you're doing. You got to watch. You got to... Uh, see it from a third person point of view and be like is this is this something god would want me to do you got to watch yourself so yeah take up your cross and follow the right path the path of the righteous yeah thank you for watching take up your cross and know that your blessings are coming and everything is going to pay off subscribe if you want to have a good day.